Another firm goes commission free, Libra loses more partners, and there's news of a partial trade deal between the US and China. This is the Silver Reports Weekly Review where we take a look at all of the headlines that move the markets during the week. On Monday, the US and China trade war weighed on investors' minds. The Dow closed down 95 points, the S&P closed down 13 points, and the Nasdaq closed down 26 points. Stocks reversed course in the final hours of trading after reports from China that the country would not make changes to their laws to protect the intellectual property of foreign companies. There was also news that German manufacturing orders declined by 0.6% on the month. Economists polled by the Wall Street Journal predicted growth of 0.2%. And there was more fallout of e-cigarettes as Kroger announced that they would stop sales of e-cigarettes at their stores. On Tuesday, the market saw more red with the Dow closing down 313 points. Points, the S&P closing down 45 points, and the Nasdaq closing down 132 points. The markets fell on news that the U.S. blacklisted 28 Chinese companies due to their role in human rights violations against the minority Muslim population in China. There was also news that the U.S. would move ahead on restricting capital flows into China. Fed Chair Jerome Powell spoke on Tuesday stating that the Fed believes the current economic expansion can be sustained and that the Fed intends to expand its balance sheet by adding bank reserves. Almost a year after it was shelved, Robinhood announced its updated cash management feature. GE announced that they will suspend pensions for 20,000 employees in an attempt to reduce its $8 billion pension deficit. In earnings news, Domino's Pizza missed EPS estimates by $0.03 cents and revenue estimates by $5.9 million. And Levi Strauss beat EPS estimates by $0.03 cents and revenue by $10 million. On Wednesday, the market bounced back with the Dow closing up 181 points, the S&P closing up 26 points, and the Nasdaq closing up 79 points. The prospects of a partial trade deal between the US and China was the catalyst behind the market's move up. UPS announced its plans to invest $450 million in natural gas powered trucks over the next three years, and PayPal announced a $228 million loss related to investments in Uber and Mercado Libre, an e-commerce company located in Argentina. And AT&T sold its Puerto Rico and US Virgin Island assets to Liberty Latham in a $1.9 billion deal. On Thursday, the markets had a second day of green. The Dow closed up 150 points, the S&P closed up 18 points, and the Nasdaq closed up 47 points. Investors were optimistic as trade negotiations between the US and China started. Fidelity joined the Zero Commissions Party. That was the name many on Wall Street were waiting on. Activision Blizzard received backlash from the gaming community for its handling of a gamer who supported Hong Kong protesters during a live gaming stream. Supporters of the gamer are calling out Activision for putting their profits in China over the gamer's free speech. And in earnings news, Delta reported an EPS beat by 5 cents but missed on revenue by $60 million. On Friday, the markets closed higher on news of a US-China trade deal. The partial deal is said to cover agriculture purchases, currency, and some aspects of intellectual property. The Dow was up as much as 400 points but cooled off in the afternoon. The Dow closed up 319 points, the S&P closed up 32 points, and the Nasdaq closed up 106 points. In other news, eBay, Stripe, and MasterCard officially pulled out of Facebook's Libra project. Pushback from government regulators have caused Libra's original partners to rethink the partnership. Overall, the Dow, S&P, and Nasdaq were able to shake off big drops on Monday and Tuesday to close up on the week. In crypto news, Bitcoin continues to range above the $8,000 level. It was trading at $8,359 at the time of this recording. Ethereum rallied during the week and closed out our week at $182.34. Litecoin continues to have a hard time breaking above the $60 level and was trading at $56. And Ripple closed out the week trading at $0.27. Cents. Crude oil closed out our week at $54.88 per barrel, up 5.8% from last week's close. A big winner for the week? RA Pharmaceuticals, RARX, which increased by 92% during the week after news that the firm will be acquired by UCB. A big loser for the week, Forescout Technologies, which dropped 36% on the week after receiving a stock downgrade with a $29 price target. If you're in need of fresh investment ideas, check out our latest quarterly newsletter, The Silver Report, serious investment ideas for experienced investors looking for something different and new investors who want to get their feet wet. You can find it at SevilleReport.com. Also, a link to sign up to our weekend article in focus is in the description below. And any headlines you want to read more about, you can also find it in the description below. Thanks again for checking out the Silver Reports Market Review. This channel is dedicated to anyone who wants to start investing but doesn't know how or where to start. If you have any questions, ask in the comment section, like and subscribe, and may your next investment be your best investment. See you next week.